So this is going to be a video to talk about how to deal with hard kick dive kick pressure from Necro as Makoto. So I dicked around in training mode for a little bit to try to figure out some of the options, and uh, this is what I found. For those of you that don't know, you can down parry this particular uh, dive kick. So the best option is double parry into uh, Karakusa, if you can manage it. Now, if you can't do this, then you have what Murakami Goki talks about, where when your shadow is crossed by theirs, you can do Fugiyake. So it'll, it's easier just to show you. Now, depending on the spacing, you may or may not be able to dash and then Fugiyake again. And if you do dash to Fugiyake again, it has to be an early dash and then a reverse Fugiyake. But it's a little bit harder. You can also reset, but the easiest thing to do is going to be just a uh, heavy punch chesto. It doesn't give you as good oki afterward, but it'll give you corner carry. So if you're not comfortable doing uh, that into whatever, then you can do whatever you want. You can also just do dash up like fierce punch. So you can reset them however you want off of this. Um, but the double Fugiyake is going to be your strongest uh, choice. But it is spacing dependent. And it's a little bit difficult to get the DP. So the spacing for this is when you are right up to him and he and you backdash and he jumps, then that's the spacing that this works at. But obviously, it's a little bit difficult to know exactly what side you're going to hit on. So, what are more consistent ways to deal with this? Well, you can down parry it, and then dash. You can down parry it, and then standing light kick, or light punch, sorry, and reset. And then you have, either you can dash or you can just reset, period. So if you're mid-screen, just resetting is probably going to be optimal because it will give you more corner carry. But, um, depending on your screen positioning, Dashing under him might be superior. So if you were to have SA2 right now, then that would have been Kusa into uh, dead. So <clears throat> what about in the corner? Because when we're in the corner, we cannot parry and then Fuyake. So what options do we have in the corner? You have the reset. So... Well, what happens if they try to jump out of that, right? You have a bunch of different options here. So you can also uh, go for like... You can go for like tick throws and all that sort of stuff as well. You can go for uh, confirms into uh, Hayate, whatever you really want to do. Um, the best option, if you have meter, especially if you're playing SA2, is going to be uh, into whatever you want. So depending on your situation, you're going to either want to do light punch chesto 
or you're going to want to do uh, down back heavy kick. So at this particular spacing, uh, you're at max distance for a crouching medium punch. So you're also at a good distance for keeping them in the corner. You can also dash before they land. So that's another important thing. So you're, you get free mix-ups off of this as well. High-low and throw, obviously. Um, you can also do other things like stand heavy punch. And like I said, you can do chesto. You can't do uh, double fugiyake. Because the fugiyake, your fist will go on the other side. So even if you do double EX fugiyake, it's not going to work. Uh, apparently I'm wrong. So you can do double EX fugiyake if you really want to. But it's not really worth it. Huge waste of meter. But you can chest O back under so that you're at perfect range for Oki if you want to do that. Um, outside of this, you know, you only have that sort of a setup where you know, whatever you would normally do as Makoto. I don't actually play Makoto. Um, so yeah, that is Heavy Kick. So uh, I'm just going to continue on and do something that I don't really understand how this is going to go. So let's give it a try. So if your opponent jumps back and then does this heavy kick, it's only going to give you one hit. It's not going to give you two. So what happens when you parry this? When you parry, the second hit happens. So you can't actually punish this with uh, DP. But you can reset them. You can't EXDP it either. So you have to be cognizant of if your opponent jumps back, jumps neutral, or jumps forward. So let's look at neutral jump. If they neutral jump, so forward dash, neutral jump, you can still do your EX, uh, whatever. Fugiake. Okay. You can't do regular Fugiake. The other thing is when he jumps, just in general, you can just dash. Because even if he instantaneously does it, you're still going to get under him. So Makoto is very... One of the most important things to know as Makoto is how to get out of the corner. And the simplest way to do that is to just dash under your opponent as soon as they jump. So if your opponent is doing stuff like this, Let's uh, record.
when you hit the ground from the hook punches, it's a delay for your quick rise. So you actually have to change up between when you're doing like quick rise and when you're not. But that's something completely different. But anyway, um, dealing with dive kicks and stuff like... When he jumps after a hook punch, you can always jump heavy kick on his way up. Um, you can also make stupid bets like this. If you delay, you can just fugiake because he has to jump forward enough. But it's kind of risky. You don't need to EX. So let's take a look at medium punch or a medium kick. So if he jumps forward and does this to you, you're most definitely going to be able to EX Fugiake this. You're most definitely going to be able to dash out as well. So just off of knowing if he's doing heavy kick or medium kick, you'll know if you can get away with things. He's not usually going to use medium kick, though, unless he's hitting you at, like, the uh, the middle of your character like this. So it's not likely going to be used in the corner unless he's jumping back and doing it. So let's take a look at that, right? wanted. So you have to double parry. But you can still uh, grab him if you double parry. If you don't double parry, you can reset with standing light punch. You can't do EX Fugiake. You can't do regular Fugiake. Depending on your range, you can contest him. But if you're parrying, you're most likely going to have to parry twice. Standing heavy kick, loses. Standing medium punch, loses. Standing light kick will hit him. I'm not sure if you can reset off of this, though. Nope, light punch is your best option. So your best options are basically like Fugiake, uh, EX Fugiake in certain situations, uh, Light punch to dash out, and you can't dash out of this situation without doing the light punch. So it's probably safer just to do the light punch if you don't know which, uh, what you might call it, dive kick it's going to be.
Even if you double parry, you can't EX Fugia, okay? And he's out of range for uh, regular Kusa, and Light Kick is going to hit him, so you can't do the Kara version either. So, I mean, depending on the dive kicks that he's doing, you're not going to have a whole lot of options other than the uh, standing light punch resets. So the most consistent is going to be that, but as soon as you can like start to gauge when your opponent's doing certain things, um, then you can start doing like the, uh, whatchamacallit, the Fugiake into like dash punch or Fugiake dash Fugiake. But the most consistent are going to be like EX Fugiake as well. You can still do that mid screen. So the f tricky thing about the dive kick is that sometimes you have to parry it backwards. And sometimes it's going to trade just like that. But yeah, so when he's walking forward, you can EX Fugiake, dash punch, and then you get your mix-ups. You can also, you know, still reset with this. But you have to delay a little bit. So hopefully that helps, and uh, if not, then... You're shut out of luck.